today we're going to see if we can figure out the shimmy in the front end of the car. I'm going to replace these tie rod ends um, and that steering stabilizer way back in here. You can see the rubber's a little beat up on it. Um, these actually don't look too bad. They might be fine. If they're fine, I'll keep it. But I'm thinking that stabilizer needs to go anyway. On the passenger side, it's a little hard to just get to the one side over there real easy. Um, everything else is accessible here from the driver's side. Where you can just reach in here and grab it. Not too bad. Um, that way you don't have to take the gas tank out. Most of the videos and stuff, you'll see the gas tanks out of the car and you're looking straight down on it. Yeah, that's not necessary. So, let's get to her. First thing to do is remove this cotter key. Just straighten out the back side, grab onto it, and pull it out. Or cut it out. Two more of them cutter keys up here. One right here, one right here. So I'll get those out and then we'll take these nuts off and see what we got. Okay, these are a 19 millimeter nut. Okay, a lot of guys will use a pickle fork on getting these out. I don't like doing that. If you sit here and smack the sides of this, up on that rest. Okay, after beating the living crap out of this thing for who knows how long, I did get this one side out here. This one. But the inner one in there, right there, I've been smacking on that thing and beating on it forever. So I went and got a tool. I'll show you the tool. I need to totally invest in one of these because it's the neat, neatest thing ever. Get one of those. I bought mine at AutoZone because I needed it right this minute. It cost me like 40 bucks. I got them on Amazon for a lot cheaper. I got this at AutoZone, I mean. Anyway. Um, yeah, get one of these. Save you a lot of time. All right, anyway, so I popped off both of these. Here it is. There's that one. Now I'm gonna take that other one out um, and get that uh, stabilizer thing out too. I'll show you that. Sometimes these are hard to get out. I'm just going to loosen this one. And I'll loosen that other. steering stabilizer and they're not super tight Try not to get just my hand in the camera and off it comes Steering stabilizer socket, 17 millimeter. It was right there.
pretty easy really. Especially after getting that new uh, ball joint tool thing. That's a must have, you have to have that. Otherwise you'll never ever get the stupid thing apart. Pretty much comes right out. And this thing, this is the best tool ever for this. This goes right on there like so. And then you just tighten it up. Might have to smack it with a hammer here in a second. Just to loosen that rust. And it seems to all of a sudden pop. Just like that. And the other one, I sat there and played with that stupid thing for who knows how long before I got that apart. But that guy's out. Now we'll move to the other side and pop that one out. Okay, so there's another cotter pin. That you gotta take out. And 19 millimeter again. This is the passenger side. You can see that one's kind of torn. I think that's the one that's really bad. But I figured I would do them all anyway. And the tool I was telling you to forget. brake lines and stuff in the way, so you can't really get too rambunctious with that. And out she goes. So that, this is your passenger side tie rod end. there is your uh, steering stabilizer that's got a little thing where you got to bend the little tab over to get it off so I'll get that bent over and I'll tell you what size that is too okay so I got that bent straight Let's see if I can focus that in a little better So I got the tab bent straight. This is a 17 millimeter. Goes right there. Which is cool. So you don't 
have to take a gas tank out. It's probably easier. But I didn't want to get the old fuel out and all that garbage. Okay, I'm going to have to go line the car anyway. But you want to get as close as you can. You need to adjust these things out. Measure the old one. To see if there's a difference in the adjusting sleeves, whatnot. But you want to get the same length. So I'm going to measure this one, get this thing close. Um, like I say, it's got to be aligned anyway, but at least it's close enough to where your toe, your alignment's somewhat close. I opted to go with the whole new thing rather than try and get these old ones out because they're 50 years old. And I don't know, just they probably won't come apart that easy. And so I'll get that all adjusted out and we'll put these things back together. Okay. So we're going to put this in first. I'll get it close here. Once that tightens down, it'll seat up good right there. Oops. Once that goes in there, it'll seat up good. Yeah, I don't know if you can see in there, but I gotta get way back in there. I'm just gonna put all this stuff together loose so I can. Uh, Get everything to fit, of course. Okay, so that guy's kind of in. And then, like I said, I'll have to come back and get everything to fit right here. see I'm sorry about that and if I can get everything loosely put together then I can go back and tighten everything up So I put the bolt in there so I wouldn't lose it. That's for the dampener. So I put all this in loose so that when I go to put it back together, it's not a. Make sure that it fits. Stay out of the way of the camera for you. So I don't strip anything or any of that. There we go. Okay, this is the Damper and dampener up. Tighten the dampener up. That one I'm going to do up tight, somewhat tight. 
Then I'll go back and torque everything just so nothing moves. So this dampener's got to go back. And then that little, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's a there's a hole right here where this little thing here goes into. See that? Okay. So got that end in. We're putting this end in. Just like so. And we'll Get everything tightened up. And that's about it. Just gotta go back and torque everything down. But yeah, that's pretty much it.